We just learned that Tesla is going to increase the torque and maximum RPM in innovative carbon wrapped motor for new generation Tesla Roadster. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up, like this video, please, and share in social media. We would greatly appreciate it. Eva Fox has some details based on Elon Musk's tweets at tesmanian.com saying Tesla went to uh, great lengths, well, actually Tesla went to great lengths to make Model S Plaid the fastest production car in the world. The key component is an innovative motor that is capable of reaching the highest torque and achieve super high revolutions per minute, that means RPM. But the company will not stop there and already has ideas to further increase torque and revolutions per minute for the new generation Tesla Roadster. During the Model S Plaid delivery event, the company's CEO Elon Musk shared unique details about the new innovative motor. The new electric motor is the first of its kind to be in production and features carbon sleeve rotors. In order to get the carbon wrapped over the rotor, there are some very tough obstacles to overcome. Musk explained that carbon and Cooper have different rates of thermal expansion, and in order to achieve the desired result, the rotor must be wrapped at an extremely high intensity, which is difficult to do. Here's a quote. As far as we know, this is the first time there has been a production electric motor with a carbon coated rotor. This is an extremely difficult thing because carbon and copper have very different rates of thermal expansion. To have a carbon coated rotor, you need to wrap it with extremely high intensity and this is extremely difficult to do, Elon Musk said. Today, via Twitter, the head of the company, Tesla, shared some more details. Elon Musk said that the fiber is found over the rotor at a high tension load, which previously could not be achieved on a large production scale. Tesla Automation, which is based in Germany, made a machine for this. At the beginning of May, it was noticed that constru construction had begun near the company's facility in Prum. It is likely that the new building will house production lines for new machines that are needed to produce the innovative motors that will power Model S Plat and Rotor, uh, Roadster, according to Musk. You, you can search in our channel, friends, and see my report on the uh, Tesla's construction facility in Prum. The main benefit to of the new motor is that the carbon sleeve rotor creates a stronger electromagnetic field that, than a rotor that is held together by metal, the head of the company explained. Another advantage is that the rotor can go to higher RPM as the carbon sleeve stops the Cooper rotor from expanding due to redial acceleration. Thus, Tesla's new motor is the most advanced engine in production on Earth. Elon Musk replay, uh, explained, saying the main advantage of this is much stronger EM field um, compared with a rotor that is held together by metal, usually high strength steel. Other advantage is that rotor can go to higher RPM as carbon sleeve, mostly stops Cooper rotor from expanding due to red, uh, redial acceleration. It's kind of complicated, isn't it? But nevertheless, the company does not intend to be satisfied with what has already been achieved, which, uh, which generally applies to any product created by it. Elon Musk said that Tesla already has several ideas to further increase torque and maximum RPM for the new Roadster, which should begin production very soon. As such, there is no doubt that Roadster will have the most effective and innovative equipment, the analogs of which do not exist today, uh, Eva Vox from the Tesmanian explains. Elon Musk said, the plat carbon wrapped motor is arguably the most advanced motor on earth. Outside of maybe a lab somewhere, we have to keep some secrets. He also said, we have a few ideas for increasing torque and max RPM even further for new Roadster. Definitely fun and exciting engineering ahead. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about this. And I have a question that I see in Inside EVs. 
Um, will Tesla Roadster 620 mile range remain or is it going to be 400 miles which is going to be enough? So Andre Nedelia has the details of on this question from um, uh, inside EV saying Elon Musk recently stated that 400 miles is enough for anybody although he referred to the Model S Plaid not the Roadster directly. Back when the Tesla Roadster was announced company CEO Elon Musk uh, proclaimed that it was going to have a one charge range of over 620 miles or 1000 kilometers. Many were skeptical upon hearing the number for the first time but Musk restated it several times and it became the official estimated range number for the future electric two-door. However, more recently, Elon Musk expressed his view that 400 miles, around 640 kilometers, was more than enough as an electric vehicle's maximum one charge range. He did so after announcing that the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus had been canceled with the main reason cited being the fact that the standard Model S Plaid was already good enough. Now, like I said, more recently, Musk expressed his view that 400 miles was more than enough as an electric vehicle maximum one charge range. But it's more than enough, friends, it's true. But if you can charge your vehicle in three minutes or in five minutes that you do at a regular gas station, now that the charging time is longer, it would be great if we could have more than 400 miles per single charge, but also do that in a very economical way without hurting the um, uh, environment with, uh, with those batteries. The Model S Plaid has not been officially rated by EPA, but Tesla is expecting a range of around 390 miles. The Plaid Plus was expected to have even more range, over 520 miles, courtesy of a larger capacity battery pack. So now the Tesla's uh, CEO Elon Musk has announced to see, uh, has announced he sees no need for electric vehicles to go further than 400 miles on one charge. Where does that leave the Tesla Roadster? Now, do you think 400 miles is more than enough? I would like to hear your opinion, friends. Musk didn't directly mention the Roadster in his words. In order to achieve 620 plus miles on a single charge, Tesla said the Roadster needed a 400, uh, 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. Yet putting such a massive pack in a relatively small sports car surely didn't help handling braking and everything else. So maybe the manufacturer is going to reduce the Roadster's battery pack size too. Keep in mind that we're just speculating here right Right now and the manufacturer has made no mention of this but it would certainly make sense uh, to not have to weigh down a sports car with batteries and give it more range than anybody would ever really need let us know friends in the comments below if you feel 400 miles is enough range for an electric vehicle if you think it would also be good range number for the tesla roadster would a drop from 620 plus miles to 400 miles be a deal breaker for Tesla Roaders, Roadster? I don't know. I would like to hear your comments. I would greatly appreciate if you would give us thumbs up for this video if you found it informative and share in social media. And please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. This is Armin Hariyan from torquenews.com. Have a great day and God bless you, friends.